So the books I'd like to share with you today are Juana Zardui, which is one of um, the third book in the Auntie Princesa series. She is, as I've said before, she is a, um, a liberator from Alto Peru. And I did, I did a read aloud of this, and so you could see that on our Facebook page. Alto Peru is, was an area in Bolivia, Peru, and Argentina. And so I just looked her up again before I went on, and of course, like it pops up Bolivian, it pops up Peruvian, and it pops up Argentinian. So maybe depending on where you're from, you're gonna claim her, which you should, because she was amazing. She was a liberator, so she was a warrior, a guerrera, a fighter, and she, she fought in the liberation of, um, Alto Peru of this area. And so her story is very unique because she was a woman guerrera. She was a woman fighter. And um, this is a perspective that's inclusive, right? So telling the story of women and women involved in, in war and, and what our roles were. And so this text is not, is, is, a, is a more complex text in um, school library journal. They recommend the Auntie Princesa series for third grade and up. And I would actually say that this is definitely more fourth grade, possibly fifth grade level text because the content behind it is pretty, um, pretty intense. So, um, and so I just wanna give you a picture of it, but this is a really great book for you to scaffold with your students because the illustrations make it so much more accessible. So if you're a fourth grade teacher and you've got a group that you're like, oh, they're not really reading on fourth grade level, this is a great book for you to use in, in guided reading to scaffold with them, to meet them where they're at so that they can, they can access some great history and a perspective that um, many don't, don't hear of, women in war. Um, if I can show you really quick, there are some definitions in here as well, which of course I can't do it really quickly, so I probably won't. Yeah, here we go, colonias. So, so this this is a more of a, a nonfiction text feature where it, it ugh, where it where it um, pulls out the word and then it describes it. So, so this this one could definitely pass as nonfiction. Have a great rest of your week. Look for our ficha on Friday. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I hope that you open a book and open yourself uh, to a whole nother world.